What's up guys, Jay here, and I'm finally getting around to this Blu-ray review. I'm a little late this week, I've had a lot of crap going on, but uh, better late than never, right? So, I have the exclusive Guardians of the Galaxy Walmart edition. Um, with the, it has the Groot and the rocket there on the front, which is pretty cool. Um, it comes with a two-pack of collectible Upper Deck Marvel trading cards. So I don't even know what that is, Upper Deck. Um, but we'll find out, I guess. I'm looking there and see. Uh, so I do like the regular cover for this. They have, I'll show you, because the inside, after you take off this, uh, well, let me show you the back first. So cool that is. All the characters and little bubbles. Uh, some extra features, but once you take off the, the cardboard, you do have, this is what the, all the other covers look like. The, uh, just the regular cover. And see, look how cool that is. It's like a, I'm getting a lot of glare from stuff. But, uh, I really do love this cover. And I wish I could have, I mean, I wanted to buy this, just the, just this one that just had the, the cardboard that was this picture. But I was like, no, I gotta get the exclusive one. Why, what's the point of doing a, a unboxing review if you don't get, like, the exclusive one? Correct. That's what I thought. So let me get this thing opened up. And I'll show you what's inside. Here we go. Oh, the card stuff's gonna fall out. So here's the card deck. I'll show you. That's pretty cool. Um, Guardians. It's like a badge. That's like a badge or something on the front there. It'll focus on it instead of me. Look for authentic actor autographed cards. Only at Walmart. <laughs> Five for pack. So we'll open that up here in a sec. Oh, I got two in here. There's a second one. Uh, so the digital movie, I'll give it away, obviously, here in a minute. Um, but here, I'll show you what it looks like. This is kind of cool. Peel for digital code. I like this, uh, this way of doing it, obviously. Digital movie, obviously. You get a little sassy on me. So... We don't get any disc art, I mean, it's just kind of disappointing, but I'd love the disc art. I wish they would do it on more, uh, but still not too bad. With all the colors and everything, I mean, look how colorful this is. I just want to show this cover again. Look how freaking colorful that is. Why couldn't you put some colorful stuff on the disc? It's all I'm asking for. Okay, so let's go for the cards first. Um, then I'll show you the... Uh, I'll show you the menu, and then we'll do the the DVD Blu-ray menu. Then I'll do the uh, the digital code. All right. All right. So let's go. Rocket. I don't even know what this what this is supposed to be for. Rocket. Oh, cool. The back of it has like a hologram. He's got like two big cannons. Firing. It doesn't look like that in the movie. Groot. Groot. There's the back of this one. Kind of cool. I guess these are just collectibles. Drax. I'll kind of hurry up because I've got two of these to look through. Batista. Star Lord. This is a cool little pose. And tracks again. This one's a weird one. I don't know what this one is supposed to be for. It's just a okay. Next one. Moving on. Next. Get out of there. Ugh. It's been a long time since I've opened up card packs, since I was like little bitty. Yu-Gi-Oh card packs and Pokemon card packs were like the last packs I ever opened. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Volume 2 Rocket. Look at that. That's so cool. And then the back of that one. Not so much on there, but I do love that. like that one. Gamora. Not too fancy, this one. Guardian's badge. <laughs> Yay, badge. Then 
What's this one? Another Gamora, but this one's kind of weird. So holographic. And then this is the back of that one. Yep, and then the last one, I think it's just the same as the one I had before. Drax. Let me see. I may have picked that one up twice. I guess that one, yeah, and both of those packs, the very end one was both the Drax one. But, hey, that's pretty cool. It's a bonus, and it's the same price as the other one, so why would you not get this one? You get something else to look at in there. Okay. So, well, I tricked you, whoever you are that's trying to find the code in this video, because now I'm going to give it to you instead of after the menu. <laughs> if I can get it open. Ah, uh, mother F. I don't want to rip this thing. Why do you make it so hard to open, Disney? So, uh, like I always say, I don't use these codes, so I don't mind giving them away. I don't travel. Um, I very much like the idea of putting a disc in and playing it off of there. It doesn't bother me to do that. A lot of people just will, you know, they'll download it to their PlayStation or whatever, and they'll just watch it that way instead of having to take the disc out. But I like, I like it. I enjoy doing that. I mean, it's part of the movie experience, movie watching experience at home. So I don't mind. And sublam. All right. Enter code below and enjoy your movie. Um, I guess you can do it anywhere it says redeem redeemguardians.com. So I don't know if you have to go there or what. But at the bottom it just shows watch on iTunes. So you may be able to just type it on your iTunes. Who knows? Okay, well this has been a longer than I expected it to. Uh, the cards took more time. But uh, here I'm going to show you the Blu-ray menu and give a little review of that. Okay, so here we go with the first screen. I'm going to do English because I do speak English and understand English. Uh, let's see if we get previews or what's going to happen. Okay, it's just going to start the, sh the, the movie. So, hope. let's see, is it going to be a pop-up menu? Let's see. Um, maybe we'll just, is it just going to go right to the movie? We won't have a home screen menu. You say it looks great. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Stay tuned for exciting previews. Press top menu or pop up menu to play movie or select other options. Um. Oops. Menus. I want to. I want to go to the top menu. Hey, here we go. All right. So we get some scenes from the movie back there. Some uh, epic theme music. I'm not sure if this is really a, a main theme of the movie, but regardless, it's pretty cool. Okay, so not too bad. Um, Let's see how the scene selections work. Yep, just pops up right up there at the bottom. Not too hard to understand. It even gives you a timestamp of when it is in the movie. Over there on the left, you can see that. That's cool. Alright. Go back. Set up. We got the sneak peeks that we can... So, see the languages. Descriptive audio. That's pretty cool. DTS HD Master. Hmm. Not sure what that is. So this is just going to loop and loop and loop. Bonus features. They do have a gag reel. That's cool. Deleted scenes. They have a commentary. I wonder who the commentary is with. James Gunn. Uh, but that's cool. I'll check out that gag reel a little later. Featurettes. That's cool. 
Okay, so I guess that's pretty much it. And then we'll just hit the play for play movie. Um, simple, but it works. Uh, I like it. So that's it, basically. Let me know what you think of this uh, of this review, and like that's it. If you want me to do a review of the movie, leave that in the comments below, and maybe I'll get to it. I do really like the movie. I think it's just as good, if not better, than the first one. Uh, so that's basically all my thoughts. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week for the next review.